。大家晚上好。Thank you, Singaporeans, for coming out tonight. We have had four nights of very good weather, cool weather. So thank you. However, in spite of the good weather, the presence of a haze is always a reminder to the PAP that we have unfinished promises yet to be fulfilled. Do you agree? The PAP government, today's government. Is bankrupt of new ideas, they are, and they are asking from you to give them a mandate for more of the same. For Singh First, we want to be in Parliament. We want to be in Parliament to press the government on your behalf for a new vision of sustainable development that will take into account not only of economic growth, but also include parameters that reflect the quality of life. The enjoyment of creative capacity and the observance of human rights, as we have shared the last few evenings, the PAP wants to be unaccountable to the electorate. That's why the PAP always says they are a self-regulating watch; no service is required. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Yeah, we want them to be accountable. It is highly irresponsible for ministers or elected politicians to state that policy papers or cabinet papers may not have complete information or details because the civil servants writing them know that the reports will be made available sometime in the future. Do you buy this argument? All the more, we need auditors to ensure accountability. What do you think? Let Singh first be your auditor. What is the reason why more opposition is required? Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, in 2008, in a Channel News Asia interview, said the following: "Quote: To be the Prime Minister, you don't have to know every instrument, but you have got to recognise. Ah, he's a good violinist. He'll be the first violinist. He'll be the double bass. Then you coordinate them." And you have a great orchestra, and if you already can make music, you put a dummy here and there, and you still got good music. Do we need more PAP dummies that appears in Parliament and does the bidding of the party whip and doesn't ask questions? Yes or no? Well, send Singh first to Parliament to be your voice. We present you, the voters. Of Jurong and Tanjung Pagar GRC, experienced and qualified candidates that can provide the independent checks and balances. That's what you want: an independent check and balance. This will help us Singaporeans to safeguard our long-term interests by focusing on sustainable development and economic strategies, which places Singaporeans first. Only with competent competition in Parliament can we expect the PAP to be more consultative and responsive to Singaporeans. Singh first pledges the following: We pledge to improve the quality of the legislative process and policy debates. We also recognise the need for foreign labour. We still need skilled foreigners to come here and fill the jobs that we cannot do or cannot yet do. But we need a timeline. We need a timeline to face Singaporeans in. We recognise we also need low-skilled workers to do the jobs that Singaporeans choose not to do. But the intake of low, the intake of foreign low-skilled workers must be calibrated. What are the consequences if they are not calibrated? The consequences are, or will be, why would companies? Choose to invest in technology, or even skills upgrading, if they can simply hire more foreign workers to do the job. It is easier, cheaper. But how does that impact us? The push for productivity growth has been disappointing, and this is how it impacts us. Singaporeans are then forced to accept little or no increase in salaries just to keep the jobs. 
because there is a cheaper alternative that comes and competes with you at not only the unskilled level, but at the PMET level. Is this what we want? Is this responsible government? Yes or no? Thank you. We have to ask ourselves for certain industries, have we made the nation more secure if some of our strategic industries are wholly reliant on foreign talent to function? Something we need to ask ourselves tonight. Tomorrow is cooling off day. That's why I'm giving more questions for you to think about and ask. We also need to break the cycle of the working poor. What is the working poor? The working poor are households who hold full-time jobs, but, unable, but they are unable to provide for their family or better opportunities for their children. You know, it's shameful. We have such a high-income country, but yet we have about 300,000 people or 30% of the working population that are considered the working poor. They earn not enough to feed the family. They have jobs, full-time jobs, mind you. Singh First will want the Minister of Finance to provide a more secure safety net for these group of Singaporeans. The Kuei Lapis approach is too thin to help these families break out of the poverty cycle within one generation. Because in one generation, in the previous type of PAP government 40 years ago, in one generation, a whole generation was uplifted from poverty. We can do it then with more resources. Why can't we do it today? Question to ask. Something to think about. Sing First puts at the heart of policy-making Singaporeans. Sing First will advocate in Parliament when elected a burden-sharing between the government and the working poor to build strong families. Mr. Taman said, no way to give something to everyone without taxing, without raising taxes for the middle classes. Our reply, after a decade, 10 years of insufficient policy action, we have proposed, Singh First has proposed a comprehensive 8.1 billion social safety net that will not bankrupt the nation. Our proposals is based on very conservative budgetary accounting. Taxes on the rich are extremely low, can and should be raised to be globally competitive. Taxes on SIN operators, like casino operators, can also be raised. Why do we want to do this? Because we want to elim this can and will eliminate much of the poverty and hardship we see around us. Is this government, ask yourself, is this government taking the issue of poverty seriously enough? We will need full transparent information on budget and fiscal project. You know, to, to take part in the budgeting process, we will need a full and transparent information on budget and fiscal projections to fully participate in sustainability conversations. As long as the current PAB government sees it fit not to release information about Singapore's true fiscal position, no real vigorous debate on fiscal sustainability can occur. That is why Singh First is proposing or insisting on that we need the Freedom of Information Act. So we ask the voters, we ask you tonight, think about these issues. Think about how you can work together with Singh First. Think about how we can restore our nation. We need to vote for change. We need to vote for Singaporeans first. Thank you.